Sometimes survival in the deep depends on simply not being seen. To see without being seen, to eat without being eaten, meet the ocean's masters of camouflage. The stonefish is an example of adaptive coloration and he's the most poisonous fish in the sea. This scorpion fish is difficult to spot, matching the sponge behind him. The spines on his back deliver a painful sting. Seahorses can take on the color and shape of their preferred habitat. The patterns on their skin can be altered as a form of defense. The pygmy seahorse is very famous among photographers because of its small size. It's less than an inch long and extremely difficult to spot, living exclusively on soft corals called gorgonians. Because of its minuscule size and uncanny camouflage, it remained undiscovered until 1969. There are nine different species. With its mottled coloration, a woebegone shark can blend in easily on a coral shelf. Giant frogfish camouflage themselves in sponges. Stingrays and flounders change color depending on their environment. They bury themselves to hide from predators or catch any prey passing nearby. Countershading is common in fish including sharks, dolphins, turtles, and penguins. These animals have dark upper sides to match the ocean depths and light undersides to avoid appearing dark against the bright sea surface. Many fish have eye spots near their tails. These distract attacks away from the vulnerable head and eye. They may also have an eye stripe to conceal the eye, giving the impression that the head is at the tail end of the body. Many marine animals that float near the surface, like shrimp and jellyfish, are highly transparent, giving them almost perfect camouflage. Where transparency cannot be achieved, it can be imitated effectively by silvering to make an animal's body highly reflective. Other sea creatures disguise themselves. The cockatoo fish resembles a leaf slowly drifting back and forth. The ghost pipefish hover in crinoids. Palameda and orangutan crabs disguise themselves as types of algae. The decorator crab looks just like seaweed. And most interesting of all are the carrier crabs that grab a fire sea urchin and wear it as a hat. All parts of the cuttlefish, ranging from the internal organs to the color tubes, can change shapes and colors to appear like any number of fish, rocks, or plants. And finally, we arrive at the true master of camouflage, the mimic octopus. The shape-shifting mimic octopus, like its name suggests, mimics a variety of other sea creatures like crabs, lionfish, and snakes to trick, confuse, and escape predators. I hope you enjoyed the Masters of Camouflage. See you next time.